Hey guys, so we all know what it's like to get outplayed. You're feeling good, you got a few kills, and then someone comes in and makes you look like a bot. The entire fight, you're one step behind and you can't match their pace. Of course it's dubs he's got he's got the strats he's got the wall strats he can just take any wall it literally just take any wall bro ah it's not even the same game like we're, we're on we're playing different games sound familiar well it's something we've all experienced so don't worry you're not alone here being able to beat good players might seem impossible but if you can recognize their techniques and know how to take them on it's not that hard Today, we're going to explain what you can do to fight against better players and some tips on how to counter their moves. If you are the sweat in this scenario, then maybe you could use these tips to improve too. So don't go anywhere. Before we dive into it, we'd like to make a small announcement. We're adding a ton of new features to Pro Guides, which include one, exclusive guide videos for our pro members every single day. Two, ProPass now grants access to all games, such as League of Legends, Smash Brothers, CSGO, and Overwatch. More free coaching passes and points for InstaPro if you're a pro member. So head on over to ProGuys by clicking the link in the description below. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's get to the fun stuff. All right, so the reason we wanted to mention this first is that it's so, so common these days. Most sweats are trying to intimidate you and put you on the defensive right away. They do this by acting extremely aggressive, and that's what you should try to capitalize on. For example, let's take this scenario first. You're boxed up during endgame, and a player stops you from far away. They start taking shots and move in. This is a prevalent scenario that you'll encounter with tryhards. What can you do to win this fight? So you can already tell who's on the offensive here. In the box, you're the one trying to hold your ground while someone is trying to get in. At first, try to take some shots at them and apply as much pressure as possible. That'll make the player think that you're perfect and also make them a lot less confident when trying to push you. If they reach your box, then it's even better for you. Trust me, it might seem like you're at a disadvantage, but you're the one with the upper hand. They can't predict what you'll do next, so it's really easy to catch them off guard. Okay, so first of all, never go for the standard window edit. The player is always expecting you to go for that, and they have the upper hand 100% of the time. Because it's faster for them to pull out their shotgun than it is for you to pull it out after editing, so don't go for that mistake. Instead, let's see how Martaz handles it. Martaz is one of, if not the best box players in Fortnite pubs. Overall, he's good at making good players look like bots. He's so good at using the enemy's aggression to his advantage. This clip clearly outlines that, so let's take a look. So he sees someone coming to his builds and starts by turbo building his wall. This is an excellent way to see how the other player is acting. As you can see, the enemy begins off super aggressive by heavy sniping the wall, which Martaz quickly counters by just replacing it. Then he goes for this wall edit. Pay close attention to his body movement and positioning. That's important because it cuts down your chances of getting shot at. Martaz then places a trap and boxes the player in. Even though he goes for what is usually a pretty risky edit, the player who's getting trapped is trying to escape and isn't focused on shooting him, so he capitalizes on that. Once the trap goes off, it's merely a matter of going for an easy edit and getting the shot off. At that point, the enemy was utterly distracted, which led to a quick finish. Okay, can I take a second to point out how insane Martaz is? Take a look at this clip right here. Now that's what I like to call 200 IQ. That was such a creative play. That opponent probably thought he was playing it so well, then gets hit with the bait. The critical thing to note here is how Martaz switched up the entire tempo of that engagement. While he started on defense, by boxing his opponent in and going for something a bit risky, he was put on the offensive, which makes it a lot easier to kill the opponent. In all of these clips, he's able to catch his enemies off guard by just being aggressive. It isn't that hard. Of course, it'll take some time for you to get as good as Martaz, but it's surprisingly easy to use this in-game. Now, here's something that you can't do in fights. Spend too much time healing. If you're always trying to get a big pot off, the enemy will keep pressuring you. Instead, stay aggressive because it's worth the risk. Besides, if you're playing a sweat, it's not like you'll have the time to get the heal off. You could even go for a bait heal, act like you're healing, and go for a quick shot or edit when they try to break in. The next thing we've got is low ground shots. I can't stress this enough. The low ground is insanely good. Any hyper-aggressive player will automatically assume that since they have the high ground, they have the advantage. This couldn't be farther from the truth, and it's that confidence that makes it easy to handle them. 
If you're in a scenario where the enemy has the high ground, bait them into thinking that they have a free shot. They'll almost always go for an overpeak and expose their head way too much, which gives you a free shot. It makes sense, if you're the one moving around and jumping, it's going to be tough for them to get a big shot off. They, on the other hand, are exposing their head. If you can get that shot off, the fight is yours to take. After that, you'll probably notice how much more cautiously they're playing. That means that you've become the offender. That's why you need to become an aggressive player and pressure them. The next tip we have on countering is SMG spammers. Getting W keyed is frustrating. It doesn't take any skill, but seems to work so well. There are lots of ways of handling it, but most people still aren't using them. The first method we have is the quick shot. When someone is spamming your wall, they're always expecting you to just turbo build. For the majority of people, that's their only option. But what lots of pro players have been picking up is the quick shot. So what do we mean by this? If someone is shooting your wall, they're not going to be able to replace it, which means that once the wall gets destroyed, there's a small window frame where you can get a shot off whilst replacing the wall. This strategy is so good because it's super unpredictable and minimizes the chance that you take damage. The damage you give by a shotgun shot to the head is way greater than the SMG, AR, or pickaxe that they could possibly get in while you go for it, so you'll always be the winner of the trade. Even though you might have known about this for a while, it's still not very common in this game, so start using it. In fact, we've got another trick that could be even better. Shout out to Martaz for discovering this. Instead of trying to use your shotgun, preemptively fire back with an AR, SMG, or something that can destroy builds and do lots of headshot damage. Right before the wall gets destroyed, lock onto their head and start shooting. The other player probably won't be aiming straight at your head or be expecting you to fire back, so you have some free headshots to get before they can even shoot you back. Most of the time, they'll end up panicking and you can push them. Seriously, this strategy is almost uncounterable. The next thing we've got is also really consistent and will pretty much always result in you having high ground and not taking any damage, but it depends on stable timing. As soon as they destroy your wall, replace it and immediately start building up. They won't have time to take down both your wall and the ramp they'll be walking on, which means that you'll be able to build out quickly. From there, it's a pretty easy fight. You've got the high ground, so play it as if you would any other fight. Don't overpeak as we mentioned earlier. It's also important to note that if you're using this, make sure that your builds are well supported so they don't just shoot them out. Lastly, we've got how to counter overbuilders. Especially in the current meta, everyone is trying to be the next phase sway and use their crazy 90s in game. They don't even care about shooting you. The high ground is all that matters to them. Don't waste your time building up higher and higher because trust me, they'll always have the high ground. Instead, try dropping down and breaking it. They probably won't realize it and you'll get the easiest kill ever. If you can do it quietly and discreetly, they probably won't hear you and so what if they do? Then they'll have to spend their materials trying to get down, which allows you to build up and take away high ground, which is the only thing that they know how to play on. While this strategy does work well in solos, it works even better in duos. Just tell your partner to get into a build fight with that player and while they're building, break it down. For some reason, people have stopped doing this recently, but it's such a reliable strat. Low risk, high reward, baby, that's what it's all about. All right, so here's a quick summary of what we've learned. Number one, be the aggressive player. Don't let the enemy intimidate you and don't waste time trying to heal. And number two, go for quick unpredictable shots before a wall replaces or even spray back. Break the structure down instead of going into a big build fight. So to conclude, no one likes playing sweats. They're always using some new strat or building with some crazy technique they just discovered, but they're effortless to kill if you can pinpoint their weakness. The significant takeaway from this video should be, as we repeated throughout the video, it's all about turning their sweatiness to your favor and changing up the tempo of the engagement. If you can do that, then you're guaranteed to win any fight that you encounter. The most important thing to do is not to panic. That's what they want. They're trying to get in your head and prey on you making bad decisions, but if you think it out, they lose that ability. Keep in mind, to accurately execute all these techniques, it's essential to have proper mechanics. The clips that we showed in this video all made use of the tips so well because they were done so correctly. All of them depend on speed and accuracy, so it's good to practice that as well. Do these tips help you guys out, or do you have any other suggestions that you use to kill tryhards? Let us know in the comments section. Also, don't forget to drop a like. It allows us to make more videos just like this one. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you all out there.